Alright, where to next? I guess the Quickie Mart, right? Thank you, come again. This I'll show you another part that's actually a game. Alright, yeah, this obviously is an imitation of Doom, no doubt. Okay, how do I control anything? Okay, how the hell do I control anything? Oh, there we go, space bar. I'm a dumbass. Yeah, this is obviously a complete imitation of Doom. Except, uh, well, basically you're just standing still instead of moving around. You can see the face and everything, the first person perspective. And, yep, Apu is basically a goner. Oh well. There's other rare activity, you know, non-alcoholic beer, which, yeah, if you remember from the Lisa of the Vegetarian episode, it's the secret staircase to going upstairs, and the only thing missing is Paul and Linda McCartney. Nice little uh, secret area to escape to. Heh <laughs> Hurricane Cat Chow. <laughs> I'm sure all of you remember that. Here, let me give me a free squishy. Thank you, come again. No, thank you. Alright, I'll skip over to Grandpa's place. Okay, well right now we're across the street from the cemetery, which is here, of course. But we're going, as I said in here, to the retirement castle, also known as Grandpa's house. Yeah, apparently you only go in his room, nowhere else. And he's basically doing nothing but reading and sleeping, so... Yeah, there's more Lisa and Maggie. Let's check his drawer, as I said before. And what's in here? Heh, <laughs> beef jerky. Okay, it might be in here. Nope. Let's check the bottom one. Ah, here we go. The Stonecutter's Ring, if you saw in the Stonecutter's episode. He's a member, and he was that was the only way he got Homer in. So, I guess we'll... Okay, he's not here now. I guess he must be at the Simpsons home, as we saw before. So, let's head over to the Stonecutters. I'm gonna cut to there. Yeah, I guess I'll make a quick stop at the uh, Boneyard. Um, yeah, I guess I got zombies, which is, I guess, tributing the uh, Treehouse of Horror episodes. I don't know how the hell I access the telescope. I guess you gotta get some kind of... Uh, unlockable or some sort. I guess it's from the Bart's Comet episode. Yeah, I guess there's not a lot to see here, so let's get back to Springfield. And over to the Stonecutters. Alright, I uh, promise the Stonecutters Lodge, but let's say a little prayer first at the Springfield Church. Yeah, I'll check under Reverend Lovejoy's... Uh, <laughs> I remember that from the episode where Homer challenged Ned Flanders' his kid, or I should say Homer challenged Bart against Flanders' his kid, and whoever loses has to mow the neighbor's grass in their Sunday's the wife's Sunday dress <laughs> okay I don't get why Reverend Lovejoy has any of this okay okay that that makes a lot more sense what the hell is this community cards I don't get that okay I don't get that at all okay I'm gonna exit here Yeah, let's pass it on the collection plate. Oregon. Play Green Day like in the Simpsons movie. Okay. Now, I promise. We're on our way to the Stonecutter's Lounge. This is a promise. I'm and here we are. The Stonecutter's Lounge. We can finally get in. Oh. 
that pretty much says it all right there. If you remember from the episode, as I said before, there's the torn, uh, the, whatever the hell it is that Homer wore as a bib or apron or whatever, and here's all the photos. Yeah, they keep changing every time you look at them, but you gotta exit and go back. Hey, what the hell, did Homer turn invisible? I have no idea. Yes, yeah, Krusty paddling him. That's the initiation. You know, the typical, thank you, sir, may I have another initiation? Okay, I have no idea what's in here. Oh, the key. That's right. Other places they unlock with a key, it's like, it's a chain reaction of unlockables. You unlock one place. That's pretty much, as I said, the only part that's actually a game in this game. Yep, the key to Mr. Burns' mansion. It's another place unlocked, so, um, I don't think there's much more, uh, to do in here. Um... Oh, wait, I don't want to look at that. Okie dokie, I guess to Burns' Mansion we shall go, or whatever place uh, I run into next, so. Okay, Let's um, there, I said whatever place, in other words. Um, I had to stop by the Flanders house, because I didn't show you what that one is like. Yes, there's actual interactivity with this one. So let's take a look inside. I also didn't look in the Simpsons treehouse either, so yeah, this is what you expect. Okay. The secret church. Of course, because Ned Flanders is very religious and pretty much locks out every channel except for religious ones. Let's get back to the couch. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is, I guess, another game, if you can really call it that. Yeah, you uh, shake up the... Uh, Take up the seltzer and fire. Gotta go two at least to get up here and one to get down here, anything. So. so let's shake it up once and get this guy with the leaf on him. I guess that's something I like the Bible. Oh, wait, I guess I was supposed to shake up a little bit more. There we go. Oh, okay, I guess it's supposed to represent Adam and Eve. I guess you gotta get three to get Buddha up here. I don't know why Ned Flanders actually has this. I mean, he's Christian, not a Buddhist. <laughs> oh, okay, I guess he went from Buddhist to Catholic. I know, I'm sounding really, like, religious here now, but this is all that Flanders pretty much lives off of. His religion. Yeah, okay, now... Come on. Oh, that's pretty much all there is to see in his house, I think, I assume. So let's check out the uh, Simpsons treehouse. Okay, I finally figured out how to get to the treehouse. Gotta go back here. I don't know how the hell I was gonna guess that. I haven't played this game in so many years, but let's climb up and get into the treehouse to the only other part that I can think of that's actually a game, if you remember from one of the oldest episodes where Bart gets his revenge on Nelson Muntz, yep, that's right, it's a water balloon fight. So, just like the Flanders' um, seltzer bottle game, move it over and I guess you have to shake the thing up, I don't know how that makes any sense, but let's hit Lisa. Or whatever the hell it hits. No, I guess I didn't aim that right. It's kind of like the tomato tossing game on Virtual Bart got to be very specific with it, how to aim it. So let's hit old Lisa, reading the book. Mom! <laughs> okay, that's pretty funny. 
Let's, uh, let's hit Martin. I don't know how the hell you do it. I'm guessing this is how you do it right. Oh, I didn't even realize uh, Snake was hiding in the bush there. Nope, there's nobody there. Okay, I don't understand that. <laughs> okay, that's good. Get that dumb fatso. And I hit nothing. Uh, there we go. Oh, no. What? I didn't hit Grandpa? Okay, now I did. Definitely. <laughs> uh, that senile old fool. Knock over the uh, juice. Eh, nobody says anything. Let's go after Chief Wiggum. Nelson, obviously. Uh, I lived by the sword. I died by the sword. <laughs> okay, I pretty much hit everyone I wanted to. Sorry for that little slowdown there, but this is, uh, as I said, a really old computer. I guess to join Bart's little club, you gotta read comic books. So let's. Get everyone to read comic books, but you know what? I'm out of here. Next stop is Burns' Manor. Okay, as I said, um, I said Burns' Manor, right? No, I meant the nuclear power plant, which, um, you know, makes sense because he uh, is in charge of the nuclear power plant. Uh, this volume control is really crappy. It's really a pain in the ass to control this volume, so... Let's head up to uh, where I unlocked. I got the key to Burns' office. Yep, I can finally access this office. So, yep, this is the lair of the most evil, vicious office of the uh, most evil, vicious uh, boss in pretty much any show I remember. Well, okay, he does have some kind heart, but for the most part, he's pretty evil. This is a secret hideout right here. Or I guess that key was to unlock, uh, to unlock this fireplace secret room. So, um, yeah. I guess there's nothing to unlock in here, or pretty much see in here, so... I don't think. Yep, we got thieves hiding out here. I don't know how the hell I exit. Ah, here we go. So... I guess to Town Hall I can try. Okay, so, as I said, we are at the Mayor's Office, right near Town Hall, so... I believe the key to Krusty's studio is in here somewhere. Files and crap. Yep, Krusty with a mob and... Prime McClure. <laughs> okay, I got no comments there on that one. That's pretty funny. Ah, here we go. I think this is pretty much the last key to collect. I don't know how to get to uh, Principal Skinner's... Uh, telescope and the cemetery, but I don't care at this point. I got the key to Krusty Studios, so yeah, you can actually work there. Here's a trick. Um, it gets you there a lot quicker. Yep, just hold shift, S, and B key, and double click. Uh, it didn't work. There we go. So, yep, you're here at Krusty Lou Studios. 
And we're in Krusty's uh, dressing room right now. Okay, you got Saito Mel, you got Krusty. So let's uh, interact here. <laughs> That's pretty funny. That's if you uh, have a taste for slapstick humor. K is for a clown. Oh, these movie billboards. <laughs> Krusty goes to college. Okay. Studio 12. Okay, here's where Kent Brockman is. I don't care about the news. I believe there's somewhere where there's itchy and scratchy cartoons. I don't know if this is the room. Police Chief Wiggum. Maybe that's not it. Hey, 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 all right, kids. Here's more of that fun, gore, and violence, you little monkeys clamor for. Itchy and scratchy. Ah, here we go. Itchy and scratchy. Great take on Tom and Jerry, or, well, when I first started, it was a take on Mickey Mouse and Felix the Cat, I think. If you remember in the Itchy and Scratchy uh, movie episode. Violent <laughs> but funny. <laughs> uh, that's so gross but hilarious at the same time if you're into that kind of humor but um, yeah that pretty much concludes I know there's still more left to see but um, overall I'd say this game isn't bad even though it's not really a game but Obviously, uh, no doubt, The Simpsons Hit and Run is more of a game, but I'm still fascinated by this whole point-and-click thing. This point-and-click and navigating through the city thing is a little tedious. But if you can get your hands on this one, which is hard to find, you can probably only find it online, obviously, or at any store if, you, if they still sell it. But yeah, this game is, you know, in my opinion, it's still worth checking out. But it's not really a game. It's point-and-click navigating through Springfield. Nice day at... It is a little outdated for its standards, but it's for diehard Simpsons fan. You gotta really have the patience to enjoy this, and obviously you have to have a computer to be able to work this kind of old game since it was released, I believe, in 1996, if I remember correctly, or 97. So overall, an okay game, not bad, but in comparison to the crap that came out before it was released, it was probably the only good one at its time, aside from the arcade game, so... Till next time, thanks for watching.